Hello everyone, I'm your instructor Ariel and let's begin shall we? In this section we'll be talking about understanding the cyber kill chain. The cyber kill chain is an important part of ethical hacking and while it's changed over the years it's still important to know. So what is the cyber kill chain? The term kill chain is actually a military concept used to describe the steps of an attack. So um, if there's a commander and he's planning an attack on a foreign enemy, they will go through the process of using a kill chain. And just like the military term, a cyber kill chain refers to the steps followed to carry out a cyber attack. The cyber kill chain framework was developed by Lockheed Martin in 2011. Since 2011, there have been different variations of the cyber kill chain model, but today we're just going to talk about the original one by Lockheed Martin. The cyber kill chain that we're going to be looking at has seven phases. And it's also uh, important to know that just like the cyber kill chain, many terms of hacking are taken from military terms. So the first phase of the cyber kill chain is reconnaissance. Uh, this is sometimes referred to as footprinting and reconnaissance. So you'll probably be hearing that term a lot. Next up, we have weaponization. After weaponization comes delivery. Next up, exploitation. Then installation. And when we talk about these two, we'll group them together uh, because they kind of go hand in hand. After that, we have command and control. Finally, we'll look at actions on objectives. So why is the cyber kill chain important? The cyber kill chain is important to know as an ethical hacker because you'll be performing a lot of these same steps in order to find flaws and vulnerabilities. The cyber kill chain is important to know even if your job is simply defensive and not offensive because you'll be able to understand the steps that an attacker will take and you'll be more prepared to prevent them. The cyber kill chain allows engineers and anyone working within the security field to understand ransomware, security breaches, and APTs. APT stands for Advanced Persistent Threat. So what is an Advanced Persistent Threat anyway? They are prolonged and targeted cyber attacks. So this isn't going to be someone who like spread a wide net, sent out a bunch of spam emails to try and get a lot of different people to bite. It's going to be somebody who is specifically looking at your organization to target. They have some reason for wanting to target you specifically. And with an advanced persistent threat, the attacker is going to have access to your network for an extended period of time. This isn't going to be them getting access and then um, getting what they want and leaving quickly. This is going to be prolonged and it's going to be over, um, you know, any variation of a period of time. So typically, uh, an APT's goal is going to be to monitor or steal data. So uh, one thing that we commonly see with this is an advanced persistent threat is them trying to steal IP, which is intellectual property. They're not really going to be disruptive. They're not going to try and damage the network. This isn't going to be like your typical ransomware attack or anything like that. They actually really want to go unnoticed. So their goal is to maintain ongoing access to the network. And they can't do that if uh, they get caught. So they don't want to be too disruptive. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.